Hello and welcome to another Demon Tale 1 2 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Super Mario Bros. 3 on the uh, NES. It's a uh, two player, but it's not two player co-op, it's take turns two player, just like pretty much all Mario two player games really. Uh, obviously the two player is one Mario, one Luigi. So, very quickly show you the two player because there is actually something on two player that, uh, that's not on the one player. And that is when you're on the both, like both on the same spot, obviously you take turns here on the world map, you go on to the one, if you're both on the same level, it doesn't matter if you're on the start or whatever, you get the original Mario Bros. redone. So the controls are better now, the, uh, the jumping controls are better, the, you can jump on the uh, heads and all that still, you can knock the enemies on, underneath by doing that, the enemies look bigger and badder and the likes, um, the only difference is, when you hit an enemy you automatically get the coin rather than, like, rather than the coin coming out, and you don't do it for points, you do it for turns and the likes, so it's a bit, it's a bit odd how it works. It's. Uh, Basically, if you're thinking about getting the original Mario Bros and this game, and you think, well, I'll just get this game, then it's not the same Mario Bros, it's just, well, just that redone in a new form, so, I don't know. Starting off, the main point of the gameplay is you go left to right, you get killed by the first Goomba, because law of Mario Bros 1 and Mario Bros 3, you have to get killed by the first Goomba, that's how it works. Don't ask me, I didn't make the law, but everyone knows about the first Goomba. So, this time avoiding the first Goomba, because you've done that now, you uh, go into the game, you've got the mushrooms and the likes like I had last time, you've got the fire flowers, you've got uh, raccoon leaves, which I should be able to show you very soon. There we go, there's a raccoon leaf. The raccoon leaf is kind of like the cape from Mario World, it allows you to fly, but not fly so much that you can actually just fly through the end of the level. So just kill the enemies here, give yourself a bit of a run up to show you what I mean. You can spin your tail and the likes to kill enemies and to knock blocks, although it's can be quite hard to knock the blocks with it. But the whole point is you run up and then the bottom, at the very bottom of the corner, well, bottom corner of your screen, you can see uh, a meter flashing that's turning P. When it goes P, then it means you keep it in the jump button and you'll be able to fly up. As soon as the P runs out, then it means you've lost all your momentum to fly and you just keep it in the two button to glide down to earth. So the pipes and all that are still here. Some pipes you can go in, some pipes you can't. The pipes are the secret areas. And at the end of every level, you get one of those, which, uh, it keeps changing between the mushroom, the fire flower, to the star man, and depending on what you get, depending on what you get at the end of the three bottom right corner boxes. Basically, if you get three pictures, then you get life. If you get three mushrooms, then you get two lives. If you get three fire flowers, you get three lives. If you get three star men, you get five lives. So it's one of those that you want to try and uh, try your best to get the star men because you will need lives later on. Uh, this is uh, the first Mario game that was on the NES to have a world map and everything, so it's a huge breakthrough through for that and the likes. It's same gameplay and everything, although you've got more, obviously you've got more power ups and now you've got that irritating blue bar to the left, which I know it doesn't really affect gameplay, but it's quite annoying to have it there. It's the same one that Kirby had, but you've got the world map, and because you've got the world map, there's a few special things. Uh, don't know why they took this out of the Mario World series because. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite cool, but over there you've got uh, the mushroom houses, which I'll show you in a few seconds. You've got these Ace of Spades where you go in, and it's a matching game, so you have to hit the button to try and match the pictures, and if you manage to make one, then you get extra lives. So there, I've already messed that up, so no extra lives for me today, but it's the same as the other things. Mushroom, if you manage to complete that, two lives, Fire Flower, three lives, and Starman, five lives. Uh, unlike the other, unlike Mario World and all that, you've got mid-game fortresses. So, to be fair, on Mario World you had secret fortresses, but there's not, there wasn't one that you had to do on every world. A couple of worlds didn't have a fortress. This one, every world has at least one fortress, and I'll uh, I'll show you that a bit later on because obviously the gameplay changes again in them. Uh, shut up for a few seconds now, just to let you listen to the music, which is uh, so I think it's pretty good. It's uh, not as good as Mario World, but I still think it's a pretty good music track. There we go. This has also unlocked the Mushroom House, which is uh, one of the best things about this game. It allows you to get items, as in mushrooms, fire flowers, frog suits, tanuki suits, and by pressing the one button, you will actually be able to go into your menu of items. Obviously, I've got nothing there, and it basically means that if you're on a level which you know is hard, because maybe you've just died or maybe you've played the game before, then you'll be able to select your weapons and suit up, basically, before you go into a level. So. Here I've just been able to get the leaf, which is obviously the raccoon which I'm currently at at the minute. And it basically means if I push one and use the leaf, then it will turn me into a raccoon. 
So no animation change there because I obviously was already the raccoon. You've uh, also got your side scrolling levels where the levels move themselves and you have to just keep up basically. So adds to the gameplay, adds to the difficulty as well. So that's, uh, that's one of those. I'll uh, just die here and so I can go onto the world map and show you the photos. Here we go then, here's the fortress. Um, basic, the only real change of the fortress is that you've got lava underneath you and that you're clearly in a fortress. Uh, at the end of every level though of the fortress, rather than just ending the level, you will actually face a mini sub-boss and standard Mario Bros. apply, jump on his head three times and he dies. Uh, also at the end of every world you get a normal castle, which again, standard rules apply, you'll face a boss and jump on his head three times and he'll die. And you also have, uh, oh, just underneath me where I currently am, are the Hammer Boss. And they're quite special. They're a stage where, again, like the Mushroom Houses, they'll give you items and the likes. And basically, it pits you off against the Hammer Boss. And again, standard drills apply, jump on the heads. Or this time, if they're standing on blocks, then headbutt the blocks and it'll kill them. So that's uh, pretty much all you've got. You've got eight worlds. Uh, each world has different amount of levels. This one here has, like I think it's five levels and a fortress and a castle. There's uh, worlds where they'll have like ten levels and two fortresses and a castle. So there's a lot there for your money, a lot of gameplay to do. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion. So instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask, and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.